Hi, Mike. What's that in the corner, by the way? What? Hi, I'm Jay. Hi, I'm Mike. I have a gentle voice, and welcome Hi. to News Bites. Great. Remember to like the video and subscribe. Because it does nothing. It does nothing, but it boosts your ego. Nothing. As if that does, could be bigger. It does nothing. I'm the fucking, I'm the one that does this show. Anyways, first story of the day is Microsoft has finally unleashed its new tablet. It's called Surface. Mm. Now, there's a lot of unanswered questions about Surface. You, uh, I haven't seen you so angry. I'm not angry. I'm you were like... You're okay. like, ah, ah. I feel threatened because I'm an Apple fanboy, right? And people are saying that this just basically blows it out of the water. The iPad and the uh, the Mac Air, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, but, but it's supposed to be something that competes against it, yes. First of all, let me just clear up some things. The okay. keyboard. Hey, the keyboard's very cool. Clear up. There's like a smart cover on this new Surface Pad, and it's a keyboard. Uh, but let me not let me remind you guys that you can buy that cover or something like it for the iPad anyways if you want to. But this comes with it. Now what they're not saying specifically is the tech specs. When asked when asked directly, they won't answer the question. How much RAM does it have? What type of Intel i5 is in there? Hmm. They also don't say if it will have a 4G network or like I'm sure it has to have Wi-Fi, but Will it have like wireless? It has service? Wi-Fi. It's gotta have Wi-Fi. They won't answer that question. And what I thought was very suspicious is they wouldn't let the journalists touch the keyboard, right? Yeah. People are saying that this is. Well, I'm saying, screw people. I'm saying this is vaporware. It's not hardware. It's not software. It's vaporware. It doesn't exist yet. Yet this is a prototype. Look at it. No touchy, right? Yeah, it happens. It happens all the time. And this is really strange because Microsoft always makes software until the Xbox 360. And I don't include like mice and keyboard. Do that's, your research. That's excessive. This is not even a Microsoft tablet. Right. They're. they're you're right. They're not building it. But they, they have. They have nothing to do with it. They said, "Hey, this is the first time we're actually going to throw our name on the something we didn't design." Right. And the problem with that is they're also going up against their competitors by Dell, Hewlett yeah. Packard. What do they, they have to do? You know, what's kind of weird is they're partners with them, but now they're kind of poking them. They're going, "Hey, we're Which getting is very, into this." Very strange. It's an interesting time to be in the tablet business. Let's just get to the main point of this story. Is it is it interesting to you? Do you think like, hey, I was going to get an iPad, but now I'm going to wait to see if it's good? Yeah. Is it going to work with my Xbox? Like, uh, can I play like uh, Xbox 360 games through this and, and the and television? They didn't, they didn't mention Smart Glass. This is stupid. Why would they mention smart. smart Glass? It's just like when Nintendo did E3. It's stupid. It's just another. It's another. Not even like a little hint. I know. It's a, another a whole. It's just a clusterfuck of stupidity. I don't know what's going on. And there's going to be like this pro version that's faster and has more storage. <laughs> uh, we don't even know if it's going to be faster. We know it has more storage. It's again, they're and, doing it and, again. And a consumer model, right? Yeah, and I, I, and they, they have, they're not saying price, so I estimate the consumer is probably 600 and Who the pro is about 1,000. Who cares? But Who knows? That's, the that's only way, yeah, but the only way for this tablet to be truly successful, it's got to be better than the iPad and it's got to be the same price. And it's, that's not going to happen. Well, yeah, that's... So tell I, us I, what you guys think of the new Microsoft Surface. Jay, sorry, Jay. No, I sorry. Guaranteed, well. this is going to end up in the same bin as the Zune. Really? You yeah. think so? Of course it is. No one's going to go out there when they can buy an iPad 3 with this screen on it and all of a sudden decide, wait, let's go see <laughs> that Microsoft device because Microsoft's been doing so good lately. And next week is Google's conference, so we'll have to see what they have. For you know what could happen here? The only people that can go against Apple is Google with the Android. If they made some sort of amazing tablet that locked right into like um, uh, YouTube and all of the search functionalities and everything there, they might, might have a chance. But the problem, problem with Android is Android users have their phone in their hands, but they don't have the latest software for the, their phones. Yeah, they got. They don't get notified. So, moving on to my story. Sorry. Actually, well, you, the question to you is, is it going to make ripples in the uh, the whole tablet I thing? Think, or is it, is it I, just I, like, I don't know. bullshit? I don't know, because I think um, people who hate iPads and Apple will love it. It's got a sticky on this feed. Oh, sticky. All right, so moving on to my story, I, I wanted to report on this because it, it was just released some info about the Call of Duty game called De Declassified Black Ops for the Vita. There's only one other game that actually cost $49, and that was the first party game Uncharted. Now, unfortunately, the new Black Ops game for the Vita, guess how much it is? $50! $50? 
What? Talk just about because, just because it's Call of Duty. Just, I'm guessing. Okay, like, why would the why franchise that? that has made the most money I don't ask know. for the most money? It's so stupid. That's why I want to report it. It should be like fifteen dollars. And, 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 and this is the best part. They haven't said who's working on it, so it could be some shit company, just like what happened with Resistance on the Vita. Some crappy company comes in and goes, "We can do this." They can't do it. Who knows? Is it NeverSoft? NeverSoft was officially announced as some sort of development team working on a Call of Duty game. Obviously, it's probably the Vita game, because what else are they going to be doing? Working on something next-gen? Why would it, you know, that doesn't make sense. So I'm thinking that it's Neversoft working on the Vita game, which you're going to have to pay $50 for, and it's sort of a prequel to Black Ops 2. It doesn't take place, and it's a new story, and all new, uh, you know, missions and whatnot. But wait a minute. There's so an I... online mode. Well, hold on. Black Ops took place in the past. Black Ops 2 take place in the future. Yeah. So Black Ops is going to be the present. Well, they, <laughs> I don't know. So that which is going to be Modern Warfare. Who knows? <laughs> they just said it's it's a it sort of takes place before to get to that story. Yeah, they, you, kind of, there's a lead they're up. tricking you. Something, they're tricking you. <laughs> it's just something is not right here because a we have not seen any footage. B we don't know who the developer is. C it's fifty dollars. Why? Why? What else? You know. When D you look, who's Neverwhere. Never soft. Never soft. Well, never soft is the company who basically made every Tony Hawk game. Oh, that was, that was actually good. I should have known that. Um, but the, the question that I have to, or what what comes to mind is this: in the history of video games, when when these three things come into to play, you don't know who the developer is. It's fifty dollars. And what was the third one? I don't even remember. I'm so angry about this. It's a prequel sequel? Yeah, it's a prequel sequel. Whatever. When you hear these things in the past, does this ever lead to something good? Never. Think about it. On like a handheld system, like, oh, it's not going to be the full feature game that you want. It's going to be something else. And by the way, we're not telling you who's making it. I don't know. I'm just a little bit skeptical because A, again, we don't know who's making it. And B, it's $50, which is just silly. Why can't it be $39? Mm. It better it better be amazing. Like, it better be one of those games you pop in there and you go, this is why the system was made. If it isn't, it's another fail in the Vita. Because Vita, what has it done so far? The, you know, the Uncharted game was decent. What do you do, hose and tits then? Yeah, hose and tits, hose and tits. It was decent, but it didn't go anywhere. It was just like, ah, here it is, sorry. Yeah. It was nowhere near as good as the uh, history. Nathan Drake. So yeah, point is, this is, uh, this is uh, not a make or break, but this could either be a, a system selling title mm -hmm. or a piece of shit. Mm. What's your guess? Mm. It's hard to say, eh? <laughs> no, I, I don't think it's gonna be good. Like, they're not putting confidence out there by showing anything. I they're think just... pe people who love Call of Duty are gonna, uh, like it on the consoles and the PC. I yeah, don't so think it's, it's a portable there's thing. Something's not right here. Yeah, anyways, tell us what you guys think. Yeah, uh, anyway, it's not like we do the news. No, like the video, subscribe. Remember do it, to you know? like J Hoof. Don't just be mean like to him. him. Do, he's you know, not always an asshole. Just be nice, give him a sometimes chance. Sometimes I am. Sometimes he is, sometimes he's not. Sometimes I am. Right now you are.